San Diego 6 News in the Morning. Your station for balanced news. Good morning and welcome to San Diego 6 in the Morning. I'm Courtney Dwyer. And I'm Alex Michelson. It is Saturday, April 25th. And although the weather isn't perfect this weekend, we are fast approaching bathing suit season. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, well, what have we told you? There are a lot of fatty foods that are actually good for you to eat. A doctor from Alvarado Hospital will walk us through what are the good fats and what are the bad ones and talk to us about body composition and how you can find out your own total body fat composition mm -hmm. and level. And keep thinking bathing suit season the whole time that segment is airing. Right? <laughs> All right, well, are you at least a little worried about showing off your body this summer? I, I am. <laughs> well, dieting isn't just about eating fat, not eating fatty foods. There are some good fatty foods, but you got to eat the right foods. Dr. Sunil Boyrule from Alvarado Hospital is here to help. Doctor, thanks for being here. Very we appreciate to it. Great to have you again. Um, now, your main point is that it's not about what you weigh. It's about your body fat percentage. Yeah, we've really begun to realize that how much you weigh isn't as important as what you're made of. And the the thing that determines how healthy you are is how much fat you have. Now fat isn't all bad. A little fat is a good thing. A lot of fat can predict for heart disease, diabetes, and, and even early death. So definitely we want to be less than a third body fat. If you're more than 50% body fat, we got a problem. And, um, uh, and th so the, the most important thing to decide is how much of you is body fat. And that's more important than how much you weigh. And uh, how do you determine that? Because at the gyms, a lot of times yeah. people will will bring out the uh, you know right. measuring stick yeah, and yeah, try to yeah. determine it that way. What do you say is the best well, way? Well, th that that's okay. That's one way to do it. But it, w if you go to a weight loss specialist or a doctor's office or even a personal trainer that has a lot of sophisticated equipment, one of the best ways of doing it nowadays is getting on a scale that sends a li little electrical signal through you and measures how much body fat you have. You know, if you give yourself an electric shock, it, it, you give yourself a shock because electricity goes through muscle and bone real quick, mm -hmm. but fat holds it up. So we use that premise and to so find you, out. And so you've brought one of the yeah. scales that I'm going to try. I cannot mm -hmm. believe that I'm doing this. <laughs> so this makes me very uncomfortable, but we're going to try it on barefoot because you have to be barefoot to have the electric shot come through your body. So you've inputted my information, my height and weight and a or height and age. And so let's, let's see, is it coming through with a reading? Yeah, so we, we now know how much you weigh, and we now know how much of you is body fat, and it, and it spits out this reading, which took well, 10, 15 seconds yeah. uh, to do. And you didn't feel that shock. That no, I, did, I didn't feel it. And we won't focus Shocking on that I didn't feel it. Yeah. All right, so now we've got this readout. Let's sit back down and, oh. well, sorry, I'm coming into your cord there. Um, and uh, we've got... Uh, it, it tells us the uh, exact number of calories that I should eat on a daily basis, right? Right. This, this, uh, I put in how much, you, how old you are, and how tall you are, and based on that, it, it shot the electrical signal. It worked out how many calories you burn in a day. So it tells me that if you eat more than these amount of calories, you will gain weight. It tells me that if you need to lose weight, you need to eat about two thirds of the caloric reading on here. It tells me what your percentage body fat is. And so did, what's my you percentage? Did, you did really well. You did really well. You're twenty one percent body fat, which is excellent. Um, but that's not athletic body it's fat. Not, it's not <laughs> athletic. Most most people want to be about you know for athletes want to be about eighteen and nineteen percent body fat. I'll tell you, all Miss Americas, they're really unhealthy. They're like single digit body fats. They're eight nine percent body fat. You can get really unhealthy as well. It can tell you if you have too little fat. And that's interesting. Too. Too, because women might need a higher body fat percentage than men, right? And their fat goes yeah, in different yeah. places. So it turns out where you carry your fat is important. If you, you know, women say a minute on the hip, a lifetime, a minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips, and people get very upset about that. But mm. actually, fat on the hips isn't as bad as fat around the tummy. Fat, fat around your hips doesn't seem to, to hurt your chances of getting diabetes and heart disease nearly as much as, as men who carry it in, around their belly. So belly fat is bad fat and hip fat is, is the subject of, of people getting upset but not of bad health. And so if you're over 50% you say maybe it's time to seek some medical aid but if, if you're under that but you're still trying to lose weight, yeah. what are good fats that you want to eat and what yeah. are not so good so fats? So if you're over 30% actually you, you, you need to, to seek help but if you're over 50% that's when people like me are surgeons get involved. Mm -hmm. But for people between 30 and 50 percent, you're right, you got to change the way that you eat. And so you got to eat good fats rather than bad fats. If you don't remember anything else, read the labels. When you read a label, if you see things that have a lot of saturated fats or trans fats, those are bad fats. Good fats, olive oil, canola oil, bad fats, anything that's solid at room temperature, like lard or, or beef or full fat milk, that's bad for you. 
you know, but uh, but skimmed milk is, is pretty good, and uh, and margarine is good, and olive oil is good. So you can you can change the way that you eat. Sometimes you need medications to help you bring your cholesterol or your fat down, and sometimes if, if you're up uh, if you're up there a little bit over than fifty percent, then you, you might need to see someone like us. Well, great, thank you, doctor, very much. I can't believe you got me barefoot and on a scale. Uh, well, <laughs> well done. Well, well, for more information on how you can get involved with that, go to SanDiegoSix.com and click on Hot Topics.